my name is Dr. Leila Doolittle. I'm going to be showing you how to do a vestibular check. We're going to do Romberg's testing, so you'll need to remove your shoes for this one. And you also need to have either a pad or a little cushion like this, or you can use just a couch cushion. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand on the pad and you're going to put your feet together very close. And then once you get oriented, then you're going to close your eyes. And what you'll do is you're going to move your head in each direction and what you're going to analyze for is where your sway is where which direction your sway happens the most so we just went right now we're going left then we go back to straight we let last about three seconds in each position now for checking the posterior canals we're going to move our head back and have our nose towards the center three seconds there checking to see how much sway then we're going to transition our head back to straight and then move anteriorly and down, analyzing this way. Now back to straight. And what if we go downwards, our nose is away from center. So now let's measure the left posterior, nose is towards the center. And we're just holding, watching for the sway. And then back to straight. Now, left anterior canal is with our nose away from center and down. Okay, with each of these, we're going to just be watching to see which way the sway happens the most or feeling which way the sway happens the most. It's best if you have somebody that's watching you to make sure that if you do sway too much or you fall over, that they can help catch you. But make sure that if you do feel yourself sway, then you just go ahead and step off and get more comfortable. You can even, if that's too difficult and you have sway in each different direction and it's just not working for you to measure and analyze, then you can do it on solid ground. The Romberg's testing is the name of it. You can do the Romberg's testing on solid ground, but it's best on the cushion if you are able to do that because that will give us a more accurate diagnostic of exactly how the vestibular system is balancing.